In this video, we will look at how to use PSPICE to simulate DC circuits. The basic interface of PSPICE is as shown here. PSPICE is a powerful SPICE simulator. It is a freeware program that is compatible with Windows and it is able to simulate both analog and digital electronic circuits. The main steps to using any circuit simulator are listed here. We need to learn the user interface, be able to draw the circuit, enter the parameter values, configure the simulation and then look at the output. In this video, we will learn to use PSPICE to simulate this circuit of interest. This circuit has one independent voltage source, one independent current source and three resistors. This circuit of interest can be solved using any circuit analysis method. A solution using node voltage method is shown here. In particular for this circuit, the node voltage is 40 volts and this solution will be confirmed using PSPICE. Let's see how we can simulate this circuit of interest using PSPICE. To start with, I will save the schematic file. So go file, save and let's give it a, a name. The next step is to place the circuit components. For that, navigate to draw and get new part. The Windows shortcut for that is Control G and this opens up the paths browser. Normally this Paths browser may open in the basic form, but by clicking on advanced, we can have a look at the full paths browser. So here the path name for resistor is R. So we need to place three resistors and then right click to make it go away. The path name for ground is EGND, earth ground. This is the symbol. So place and right click to make it go away. The path name for the independent voltage source is VDC. So place and then the path name for the independent current source is IDC. So place and close. Now before we draw, we can use the fit to page option here and this makes the schematic nice and big. Now, we need to man maneuver the paths. So using selecting the component by clicking and then going Control R, we can rotate the components. And then the current source, I can rotate as follows and then click Save. Now to use the, to wire up the circuit, we use the wiring tool. So the cursor changes in the shape of a pencil and now by clicking on the components we can wire up this circuit. And this completes the wiring of the circuit and right click to make the, the wiring tool go away. Now we need to enter the parameter values. So right click on the voltage source, double click on the voltage source. Now in this menu, you may have this situation that these two check boxes are ticked, in which case please untick. And this gives us the value of the part name that we can change. So here we want to enter 50 volt as the value. Similarly for the resistor, this is 5 ohm. This one is 40 ohm. And this last value is 10 ohm. And the current source is 3 amps. And click save attribute and OK. So now our circuit is 
wired up and we have entered the parameter values. The next step is to configure the simulation. For that, go to analysis and setup. This gives all the uh, simulation options that are available within PSPICE. The bias point detail option is enabled by default and this is the option that we need to do the DC analysis. So click close and then click simulate. So this opens up the simulation output. We can see here that there were no errors. So the circuit has been simulated properly. However, we can see that there is no output here. In order to see the DC output, we need to use the enable bias voltage display and enable bias current display options. So for instance, if I click this, this shows that the node voltage here is 40 volts. The node voltage here is zero volts because this this is a ground and the voltage here is 50 volts because the voltage source is directly connected between this point in the circuit and ground. These labels can be moved around. Similarly, we can look at the currents and this gives all the currents that are flowing through the different circuit elements. So this shows how we can use PSPICE to get DC voltages and currents in a given circuit of interest.